second contact wash on the box van. It's not been done since probably it was January. It's just been getting blasted off. But let's get around and take, take it around and see what it's like. So as you can see from here, the wheels are pretty dirty and the arches long and bottom of the van. You can see the dirt. Front wheels are just as bad, especially underneath these arches, they need a good clean out. Go along the front of the van, as you can see the flies, and there's a bit of burp, burp, burp. You know, on this on this side of the van it's pretty bad with tar. This is probably one of the worst arches on the van. Again, so I'm just going to go around the van, the wheels, and give them a quick soak with the Infinity Wax wheel cleaner. This is just got to make it easier in getting the dirt off before any contact wash. As you ask anyone, pre-wash is always essential, especially on the wheels. Get them down the bottom of the van, underneath the arches, get most of the dirt out as possible. So just so you've got a close-up here, just got to go around the quick rinse of the wheel and the tyre. You can see the dirt's just coming off underneath the arches also. Make sure you get around the back of the tyre as much as you can as well. As you can see at the back, the amount of dirt is coming off the arch. On the bottom of the van, again, same on the front. Right, so all I've done, except with the inset, Infinity Wax inset, if that's how you plan to pronounce it, wheel cleaner, blasted it off, and this is the result, it's just with spraying the wheel cleaner on and taking it off the feet contact. So here I've just got to go around all the wheels again, get a quick spray. Now most of the most of the dirt is off the wheels. Well that's just soaking in. Well I'm going around the other half of the van. So now we've just got to grab the elastic 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 wheel brush and just going around the wheels. In, in between the wheel nuts. I think the last time we've done this must have been about January, end of January, February, and the wheels were pretty yelly. So this is the second contact these are had, have are getting. Please remember if you haven't subscribed give us a subscribe to the channel, smash the thumbs up and hit the notification, you get a no notification every time we upload a video and please remember leave a comment down below or let me know if I've missed something or if you've done something different for what I do, let me know, I'm here to learn as well. This is the pre-wash, this is from Infinity Wax. Just got to go around the back of the van and along the sides of the van as well and remember underneath the arches. This has also got help if you've got any flies on the front, bird droppings, this has got to loosen it off, make it easier for removing. 
and then the other dirt that's not came off with the just the, using the power washer. Again, up and along the bottom of the van, I mind to get underneath the the sill. Pointless washing of your vehicle, and you're not getting underneath the sill. This is AM Details Snow Foam. I did actually measure this one. I just poured some in, topped it up, but you can adjust it on the end of the lance, which I think the time I got around the other side, I start making a bit weaker, as it's pretty thick and it doesn't need to be thick. Fix no was best. with my black jumper it's getting a bit white with the snow foam so here's what I'm just doing here I'm just going around the badges with a hockey brush and just get in between the gaps of the badges underneath the number plate will not underneath at the top and get around all the windows, all the sills, all the sills, the edges. As you can see here, everywhere where the wash mitt can't fit in with the brush can, the cleaner your, your vehicle's got to be. Bear in mind, this is not a detailed wash, it's just a sort of wash that I do in the van ever occasionally, if not it's just a wash over with a mitt but I try, do try to get around all the grooves at least maybe every two weeks just to ensure that it's not building up remember I will leave or drop links down below in the description for all the products that I'm using, the snow foam, wheel cleaner and all the other products that I have in the van will be down in the description for links. Normally most folk you would start from bottom up, that's just so you can see where you've been but for some reason I'm doing top down. This is a good snow foam, it actually does a pretty good job of cleaning. Bear in mind I do use the pre-wash first along the bottom, then the snow foam on top for the dwelling time. Remember once you're using snow foam, do not let it dry as it can cause damage to the paintwork. So here it is, still no contact wash, it's just been rinsed, pre-rinsed off, pre-wash, snow foamed on top, just let it dwell, obviously I need to get some tar removed, get all this tar off, a ton of it, which is quite embarrassing. Glass coat, was carbon collective glass coat was on the front and the side windows, that was put on over a year ago. Obviously the top, it's not been polished, waxed, gone for gone no so long, about six months plus, nine months. Obviously the bottom gets hard hit for the, for the dirt and grime coming off the road and for the wheels. Kind of why you always put two layers of wax polish along the bottom. See here, as normal, if you're washing your vehicle, start from the roof down.
And always remember, lift the wipers as I can guarantee if you've got a car wash or most places won't lift the wipers and get along the, the bottom of the window. As you can see, two bucket method. see I'm also cross hatching as well remember once you're doing your wash make sure you get the lip off the arches as there's nothing worse once you've cleaned the van or your car and you've still got that dirty bit on looks like you've only done half a wash Maybe once you're washing, overlap what you have done, and that way you shouldn't be able to have any missed parts on your vehicle. So as you can see, I've started for the top, along the bottom, top, down. With the two bucket method, you've got a rinse bucket with the grit guard, get in, rub it against the grit guard. Lift, which I've done both sides of the bit, lift it out, rinse it off, squeeze all the water out and then put it back into your second bucket, it's your soapy bucket and carry on and you just keep repeating after each panel. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope you've liked this video. Please remember to subscribe, smash the like button, and please re remember to leave a comment down below. And we'll see you in the next video.